Hello everyone, in this lecture, I'm going to show to you how to prove the Newton's binomial theorem, which is x plus 1 is to n is equal to summation of n chooses i times x raised to i from i equals to 0 to infinity. In order to prove this theorem, let us recall first the Taylor series for function. The most common form for this uh, Taylor series is function of x is equal to function of a plus the first derivative of f at a times x minus a and for the second derivative we have x minus a is to 2 over 2 factorial and you can see the pattern here at i derivative of f this is i at a we have x minus a uh, raised to i over i factorial and it goes on and on so we can rewrite this form into a summation notation which is more helpful for our proof in our theorem so let us write it now function of x is equal to summation of so let us just copy this one into here we have i derivative of f at a we have x minus a is to i over i factorial factorial we have i equals to zero to infinity if we take a equal to zero we can have function of x is equal to summation of i derivative of f at zero then we have x here so minus a, this is already this is just x raised to i over i factorial i squared to zero to infinity. So let us label this one as equation one. If you compare the theorem to this one, there are similarities. We have already the summation from i equals to zero to infinity, and we have here x raised to i, x raised to i. Then we have here function of x. Uh, we have here x plus 1 is to n. We can let function of x equal to x plus 1 is to n. And let's try if this term here equal to this one. Okay, so let's let function of x is equal to um, x plus 1 raised to n as is shown in the theorem. And let us compute this one. The first derivative, let's go first. The first derivative of f at x is equal to, this is n, n times x plus 1. Then subtract n by 1, we have n minus 1. Then for the second derivative of f at x, we have n times n minus 1. Then x plus 1 then this one will be reduced by 1 we have n minus 2 so for the third derivative n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 x plus 1 raised to n minus 3 and it goes on and on as a specific at a specific i derivative of f at x this is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 it goes on and on until if you can observe if this is 3 this is 2 and this 2 this is 1 so we can have here n minus i minus 1 so we have n minus i minus 1 this is equal to n minus i plus 1 so we can have here n minus i plus 1 and we can copy here can copy this one to here x plus 1 but this is n minus if this is 3 this is 3 if this is 2 this is 2 then we have if i this one is i then we can have here i i want to prove to you that these terms here is equal to n factorial over n minus i factorial times x plus 1 raised to n minus i so in order to show that okay i want to write 
I want to write this into to like this here n minus 1 times n minus 2 until n minus i plus 1. If I multiply this one with uh, a term which is this term minus 1 and we have n minus i plus 1 minus 1 is n minus i I need to also divide divide this whole term here with n minus i so this is equal to the one above except except with a term with x variable then I want to again multiply it by a term with a deduction by 1 and this n minus i minus 1 then on and on we have on and on until it becomes 1 then as we as you can observe this whole numerator is equal to n factorial this n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 until 1 and this one is n minus i until 1 is equal to n minus i factorial so they are same then we have the proof for this one now for our equation one remember equation one we have here uh, i derivative of f at zero but here we have i derivative of f at x so let's derive first the uh, i derivative of f at zero we have i derivative of f at zero is equal to n factorial over n minus i factorial times if x equals zero then this one will become one and one raised to n minus i is always one so we can leave it as like this now we can now substitute our results for this equation so the function of x is this one we let function of x equals to x plus 1 is to n and for our i derivative of f at 0 we can use this n factorial over n minus i factorial for this okay so let's do it now so we have x plus 1 raised to n which is function of x is equal to summation of this one and factorial over n minus i factorial and we have here we have x raised to i over i factorial this is x raised to i over i factorial and this is from i equals to zero to infinity if you can observe this one is equal to uh, n chooses i because this is n factorial n minus i factorial over i factorial so we can use that some uh, combinatorial mutation is equal to summation of uh, n chooses i then we have here we have x raised to i and i equals to zero to infinity if you try to compare that okay i want to write more the infinity better okay so if you compare the our result to our binomial theorem they are same so they are same so we have now proved the binomial theorem